What's up, people? All right, Slash and the Emacs back in our face again. Now, I took those big, huge tires off the Emacs, lower profile tires on there. I like these a lot better anyway. You know, makes it look a little bit more nice, as well as it takes the strain off my servo. Now, my plans in this whole thing is I'm gonna make this sort of a street style truck and from there just keep it as a, at that my only biggest issue is that goddamn rear dry shaft that is pissing me the hell off if anybody can help me out on what the hell I could do about that dry shaft situation and I'll let you look under the truck so you can see please let me know I use aluminum and every time I do you see this end right here it snaps off now what I was going to do is take that piece put it in the front part and then use where is it hold on I'll get it for you all right I'm back and use this piece on the end of this you know take that little clip piece off and use this piece right here as that end and from there just drive it as that and see if it's going to hold up because this is a whole lot thicker than the normal dry shafts as you can see right here this one here is thin compared to this this one here is a whole lot thicker now with all that said, I went on here and put some lower profile tires on here. Lowered the, I'm going to lower the body uh, mounts as low as it can possibly go. And this pretty much is how it's going to be set up. Uh, add the servo to the dry shaft, not the dry shaft, but the transmission for low and high gear. And try to see if it's going to be able to crawl like that. I have to glue the tires because again... I just sat them on there. There are inserts in here, so they're pretty much strong and sturdy, as you can see. And uh, these tires came off my Red Cat Racing Volcano EPX. But that's pretty much it with that. Clean it up. Once the doors come in, paint it a nice color. And what I was going to also do with this right here around the lips or vice versa the, the stars i was going to paint them black and it'd be chrome and black whatever anyway moving along slash two wheel drive now i took this out and my problem is if anybody can help me because as you know these trucks have the tendency of doing that butterfly when it goes up and down this is up and down as you can see it's squatting back which means that this tire, when it hits a bump, is going to rub up against this. And, or grip that. And what's going to happen, it's going to flip. Which happened, as you can see, this part is broke. This part here is broke. And that's chip right here. So, I'm planning on taking that, taking that part off. Try to get something, fill that in. And leave it like that. <clears throat> Which is why I take the back bumper, or back trunk. So it won't pop open like that one does. Now, right here, I got the issue of this. As you can see, it's not attached but with just one bolt here and another bolt on this little L bracket that I got sitting under here, which I don't feel like taking this off. But uh, I would like to get this just as flat as this one, this part right here. So if anybody got any suggestions about that, please let me know. Uh, that's pretty much it with the Slash tool Drive and the Emacs. Um, you'll see another update video of the other Emacs that I have and the Rustler. All right, people. Peace.